Hi everyone, here how to represent the target function into the learning system. Assume already we have learned about how to choose the learning, uh, learning experience, either indirect experience or direct experience and we have chosen the target function that is also done in the second step. Now, we are, how do we represent this target function of the corresponding example into the learning system to train it? The uh, representation is rep uh, uh, denoted as VCAP here that it can be done by using the table which is having the values you look at that this is the table which is having the values for each and every movement of the coin and we are having set of rules the legal moves the legal moves which are here represent as the controls or set of conditions so here based upon that we will represent this target function by using the neural network hypothesis function that is given in the next slide and the features will be having polynomial features so here the feature it is it may be have it may be represented as x1 power 1 x2 power 1 and x3 power 1 so these are the features feature 1 feature 2 and the feature 3 is the opponent 1 exist so these features are polynomial features for each and every board state here now the target function is simplified by choosing the simple representation for any given board state using the neural network hypothesis function assume the target function v cap is calculating the linear combination of following board features the board features are given here so this is the board state each board state is having some set of features x1 x2 etc x n so here which is having six number of features each feature is represented by uh, with patterns the first pattern is number of block pieces on the board the x1 feature for example here the first column may be the number of coins black coins on the board the x2 of the particular board state is a number of red pieces on the board right the third feature is represented as number of black kings on the board b the fourth the feature is number of red kings on the board B. X5 is the fifth feature on the table number of red pieces threatened by the black pieces and x6 is number of black pieces which is threatened by the red piece in the next step so based upon these features for example in this table i have given randomly three features but uh, actually the checkers game is having in this context six features okay so based upon the six features we can define the neural network hypothesis rep, uh, function so here the neural network hypothesis function is denoted for this checkers game w0 plus w1 into x1 of b plus w2 and into x2 of b then plus w3 into x3 of b third feature plus w4 and x4 of b uh, plus w5 and x5 of b plus w6 and x6 of b here this uh, uh, neural network representation is given in the different video you can watch that if you not understand this hypothesis function this can be simply represented by uh, in this uh, notation v cap equal to w0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 plus w4 x4 plus w5 x5 plus w6 x5 because here the b is indicating the board state so it is need not to use in the notation so simply we can represent in this manner here w0 to w6 are the numerical coefficients or which is called weights or parameters weights or parameters to make this system work perfectly so it can be adjusted to reduce the mistakes or error here which is determining the relative importance of different board features w0 is additive constant 
parameter. So, for example, if we have the 3x1b plus 2x2b, this is the function we have got for particular feature, particular sample, then which is denoting three black pieces because x1 is indicating the black pieces, three number of black pieces and uh, two number of red pieces available on the board trade. So, that is the representation to this learning system using the uh, hypothesis function. So, the sample is, the particular sample is indicated by using the uh, hypothesis function uh, to represent into the learning system. Thanks for watching.